Hi again guys. So in today's video I'm going to show you some of my um, February empties and I'm not going to do these in any particular order. I just kind of threw them all in a bag and I'm just going to pull out and um, we'll just go from there. So I used the, and I think I showed this in my last empties, I showed the shampoo. I finally got through the Chi Lux Thirst Relief um, Hydrating Conditioner with Color Protect and that's by Chi. I don't know how you pronounce that. I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyways, this stuff, like the shampoo, it was okay. Um, I would not repurchase this because I didn't think there was anything that special about it and I didn't really think that it really conditioned all that well. Um, I just think it was a so-so product, so I can't really recommend that. So I'm glad I bought that size. That's what I try to do if I can is buy like the little sizes so that I can um, try it before I buy like the big expensive one. And I got that at Ulta and they had like buy three, get three free. So I bought three sample size, you know, of like the shampoo and then I got the three conditioners for free. So I thought that was a good way to do it. Um, and then I also used up this um, Blow Pro Heat Is On Protective Styling Mist. And I didn't think this was all that great either. I didn't think it was horrible. I thought it was okay. But I really like the... Um, uh, what is it called? The stuff by Chi, actually, that's the, um, it's like a, I might have shown it in my last video, I'm not sure if I've used one up yet, but it's like the leave-in protection, and it's kind of more of like a cream that you leave in your hair, and I cannot for the life of me think of what it is, but I like that, and I also like the 12 Benefits that I got in my Birch Box a few months ago. It's um, called 12 Benefits, and it comes like in a pink spray bottle, and I love that stuff. Um, so I won't repurchase this because I already went and bought more of the 12 benefits and I really like that. Okay. All right. And then I also used up um, a CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. Um, it's the one for AM. And it has like ceramides, niacinamide, and hy hyaluronic acid. Good Lord. Um, anyways, I totally love this. And I will totally repurchase this in the future because I really, really liked it. Um, but I'm waiting because I have so many subscription boxes and I keep getting tons of moisturizers that I need to use those first. But I do recommend this. I highly recommend this. I like this a lot. Okay. I also used up a Crest 3D White Arctic Fresh Toothpaste. This is my favorite toothpaste, the 3D White drink a lot of coffee and I do like red wine so I definitely feel like I need a whitening toothpaste. So use that up. Oh, and another floss. Not much we can say about that. Johnson & Johnson Reach Total Care Plus Whitening Mint Floss. Um, I think this floss is okay. It's not my favorite. I will say a little bit about floss. This, uh, I don't know if you guys out there have tried this, uh, it's kind of stretchy and it's like a flat tape almost and it was very, very stretchy um, and I didn't really care for the stretchy part of it because I do my my gaps I don't really have gaps my teeth are together pretty tight so when I'm trying to pull it out it's just it's feels like it's gonna snap actually it never has broken but I'm always worried it's gonna snap and like just get me or something so I don't know I usually get whatever's free because like with couponing you can usually get um, floss for free and this happened to be one that I could get that was free but I kind of like just the regular um, floss better than this but Okay, and then I also used um, the Derma Organic Intensive Hair Repair Mask. I used that, up. and I think I showed the shampoo in my last empties, and I thought this was pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it's great, but I, I definitely liked it better than the Chi stuff that I showed you, and I thought it was pretty moisturizing, so I might buy this in the future. I might repurchase that. And then, oh, okay, that's funny. This is... The stuff I was telling you about that I like um, a thousand times better than the Blow Pro. I like this stuff, Chi. It's called Total Protect. Okay, that's what it's called. And it's, um, it's a dense lotion that shields hair and adds moisture. Anyways, you just, one pump of this, and it's like a, it is like a, like a lotion, and you just put it through your hair. I do like this stuff, Total Protect. And then I blow dry my hair, and it usually leaves my hair really soft. Um, and I like that. So I would recommend that. And I will repurchase this. And I think I already did actually. I think I have a backup upstairs. So 
Okay, and then I tried this. It's by Marinesse, which is an Australian-based like skincare and makeup company, which I think I first heard about maybe through, uh, I don't know if it was Ipsy or if it was like in the Blush Beauty box or something. I don't know. But anyways, this was the Endless Youth Amazing Botanical Day Cell Serum. And even though this looks really, really tiny, I swear this lasted forever. I wanna say I use this for a couple months every morning um, because it's a serum and a little goes a long way. It says it's supposed to hydrate, replenish, and smooth. Um, now, the other stuff that I showed in my last video, which was like that powder cleanser face stuff, I really, really like. This, I didn't think was all that great. I didn't notice anything, any improvement or anything with using this, so I mean, I'm glad I tried it, but I won't repurchase this. I just didn't notice any results. And I think I used it long enough that I would, because like I said, this looks small, but it lasted a couple months. And if you don't see results in a couple months, then I think it's, you know, didn't work with my skin type, I guess. Okay. And then I also used up this, um, it's by Nil, N-Y-L, and it was this um, face oil. And this looks like a really small sample too. And I think I got this in my Beauty Army when I was doing Beauty Army. And I'm not going to be able to read the, it's a serum, let's see, a velvet transformative serum. That's what it is. And look at, it looks like it's a tiny, tiny, it has like a tiny dropper, a little vial, like a little dropper. And it looks like this would not last very long. Again, this lasted me, of course I was using it every other night. Um, I would pat it into my skin. And I, this must have lasted me I want to say like three months. I mean, it lasted a long time, at least two months. And I really, really liked it. And um, I would probably repurchase this. I haven't gone out to see how much it is. But I keep getting other face oils, like in all my subscription boxes. Like right now, I'm using like a Marula oil that I think I got from Beauty Army um, a few months ago. And then in our Pop Sugar, we just got one also. So I would repurchase this, but like I said, I'm going to use up all the ones that I currently have. But I don't know if you guys have ever tried like a face oil. Um, I know it sounds kind of weird and people probably think it will clog your pores and stuff like that. I haven't experienced any problems with it and I think that it's very moisturizing and I really like the face oils. But I use them every other night and I do a different routine on the other nights. So, I don't know. Okay, and then I also used up another one of these. These are from Rite Aid, the Salon Plus Premium Cotton Rounds. And they're, I think I told you about them before. One side's kind of soft, I use it for my face, and then the other side is a little bit more of a rough texture, so I use that when I take off nail polish. And I do like these, and I would repurchase them. But I usually buy whatever's cheapest when it comes to these, um, as long as they're actually cotton. Okay, and then I also use this, it's the um, Dr. De Dennis Gross um, Original Formula Alpha Beta Face Peel, um, a two-step anti-aging treatment step one and step two, but I screwed this up, okay? I screwed it up because, okay, on the back I was reading the directions, and so when you're reading the directions on the how to use, you know, it says to apply step one to clean dry skin. It's just basically a, a wipe that you put all over your face. Um, and then you have to go until the pad feels pretty dry. Then you wait two minutes and then you do the step two, which is kind of the same thing, it's like a moist towelette. Well, okay, I was reading it upside, I mean, I'm reading it like this. So, oh, step one, you know, and then I open this side. Well, this was the step two side, but I didn't realize that because I didn't flip it over. I just kind of was reading what to do, ripped it open. So I kind of did it backwards. So I can't really tell you if this was effective or not because I totally screwed it up, which is kind of a bummer. So from now on, when I have like a two-step product like this, I'm gonna be way more careful because that was a waste. Okay, and then I also used up this Talika um, Lash Conditioning Cleanser. It was oil-free. It's like a mascara remover. I think an eye makeup remover too, from what I could tell. I did not care for this because it came out, it's not really runny. It was more of like a, like a gel texture, and that really bothered me. I don't know why. It, I tried to use very little on my cotton round, but I just, it, the gel, it just felt like it was getting into my eyes. It didn't burn or anything, but yeah, the texture. I, I'm not about this texture at all, so um, I would not repurchase this. But if you aren't, if you are okay with like a gel eye makeup remover, you would probably like this. It did take the eye makeup on, take the eye makeup off just fine. Okay. 
And then I also used my, um, and you might remember this from one of my Bath and Body Works hauls, this fresh picked sweet clementine um, hand cream. And this stuff smells really, really good. And I would put this on at night before I went to bed. And then every night my husband would climb into bed and he'd say, it smells like oranges. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe not the most sensual or, you know, scent to put on your hands at night. But I liked it. It smelled like oranges. It was refreshing. So that's what I was using at night before bed. And um, I, I like their lotions. I, I thought the hand lotion was really, really good. And my hands felt very moisturized in the morning. And the last thing I have to show you guys is um, by It's a 10, the Miracle Finishing Spray. I love this stuff. This is the first time I've ever tried it. Um, I will repurchase this in the future. Right now I'm using um, something by like, I think it might be Big Sexy Hair. I don't know, it's in a light blue can with a brown lid. I think it's got like Moroccan oil or something, argan oil in it. And I only think it's okay because it's pretty tacky, stiff of a spray. Um, but this didn't feel really stiff, stiff and sticky. But I still felt like it did what I needed it to do. So I do like this. Now, I didn't care for the It's a 10 leave-in product. I think I've mentioned that before. But this product for me was a win. And again, it's the Miracle Finishing Spray. If you like like a light hold, nothing real crunchy or anything, um, then I think you'll like this, and I had a nice scent to it, too. Okay, guys, that's it for um, my, what would you call it? Oh, my February empties. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.